Hi guys, Heart Paws here. Now I'm just coming out because you can buy deeds from Doug, I think it is. So when you come out, literally straight ahead, you'll see Doug, Oil Baron. So let's talk to him. Rumour has it the Cletus family farm has a huge oil deposit under it. Shame they're just growing carrots. Oh, right, okay. So I'll just quickly show you why I'm here, that you can sell your oil barrels for 500 coins. You can also sell petroleum barrels for 1,000 coins. So that's double that. Now you can also now oil resource deed, create a temporary oil resource deposit on your island 3.3 times faster than a regular deposit capable of producing 5,000 units of oil. So to get this is 500,000 coins. So it's quite a lot of money. And it says it's temporary, so it doesn't say how long it lasts for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one and so you can buy one every four hours. So I wonder if it lasts four hours. OK, so what I'm going to do is test out using the petrifier to get the solid petroleum. And we're going to compare how fast one that I've just brought against one that automatically comes up on your island. And also I'm going to see how many um, machines that you can actually um, put petroleum, petroleum in as it's being created and how much we can get out of each one. Okay, let's go back to the island and we'll test all that out. Hi guys, I'm back at the island. So this pump jack is on a oil resource island, one that spawned naturally, so not one that was paid for. And I've got one that was paid for just over there in the distance. So we're going to see how much better they are. So I'm going to do this, um, so because here you've got petroleum fuel coming into here, so this is a petroleum petrifier, okay, so this then produces petrified petroleum which can be used in replacement of coal. Now, if you look here, it actually says producing an output 1.3 times faster than coal. So I want to see how many of these we can create. So what I'm going to do is I'm wondering if we can create, put two of these connected to the oil refinery. So what I want to do is time it for one first. Um, so I'm just going to go through the obby flag when one goes through and then what we do is we time that and see how quick it is and see how many we get and then we try it with two and see if we get if we actually get more twice the amount so let's wait for one to come through So one just went through and I went through the obby so we can actually see how long it takes. So when one comes through, obviously I, it took me a second to set the timer off, but we shall see. It give us, if we time it the same way, um, it give us a good, uh, a good estimation of how long it takes. So that took about 25 seconds, 26 seconds. Okay, awesome. Now, what I want to do, and I'm just going to quickly show you guys, 
is I'm going to use one of these, a pipe junction. So I will just show you how I'm going to fit this. So this will then split this pipe into two and then the other side of the pipe I can have going through another petroleum petrifier. Okay, so let me just cut that corner off there. Now, you can see as I'm placing that, if I go a bit closer, you can see that says input that side. So we need that input to be facing where it, where the petroleum is coming through the oil refiner. So if I just press R, awesome, we've got that there and you can see that's already going through. So what I'm going to do is place another one of these just over here and then we should be able to time it. So I'm going to place that there and we're putting some pipes. So I find it easier if I get a pipe, I need to press R. If I get a pipe on that device and on the other end that I wish to connect it to, I find this a little bit easier um, to then link them. So if I just press R again, and then I'm just going to, oh, let me just move out the way there. Okay, so now you can see I've got petroleum going to both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a chest on there so I can save what's coming through. Then what I'm going to do is time the time each side and we'll see if it's as quick as it was before which was about 25 seconds. 26 seconds. So what I'm going to do, let me just go the other side of the obby. I'm just going to cancel that. Now when it comes through this side, we'll do the right hand side first. We'll see how quick it is compared to when I just had one petroleum petrifier connected. So let's see how long it is before we actually, before it actually goes through on the right hand side. So I think before it's 25, 26 seconds when I only had one connected. So that was about 27 seconds, 26. So that was about the same. So I'm going to do the same with the left hand side now. And I'll go through the obby flag again and we'll use that as our timer. So now we see how long it takes to come out. So it seems to be it can process petroleum liquid into petrified petroleum in about 20 25 seconds for both. Yes, yeah, so that was about 26, 27. So let's try it with a third one and see if we're getting the same out. So we would be getting more looking at this because we've got two running. Now I wonder how many we can have running all together. Right, so I've been playing around and it looks to me as though it only runs two. Now I've got three connected here and as you can see, it's cycling around these two. 
So there's only, do you see the smoke coming up from them? There's only really running two at a time. So it seems to share the resources going through and it move to different ones. So if you only need to power a machine intermittently, you could run more of these and it will eventually cycle through and produce the petrified petroleum. So I'll just quickly show you this. Well, we've already looked at running two. So I want to quickly go over there in the distance and I'm going to quickly rig up and see if, because it's supposed to be better and faster, the paid version. I want to see if we can actually run three. So I'll come back to you once we've done that. Right, so I'm at the um, oil resource island that I bought the deed for. Um, now, as you can see, the only difference here is that I'm running a long pipe to the oil refinery and the petrifiers over here because I've got a resource island here of gold. So I'm going to power that and hopefully get gold quicker. So I could do a video on that and I might do maybe leave something in the comments if you're interested in that. Now I've got three petrifiers off this in the same way that I did on the other island. Again, see the smoke? It's only really again running two at a time. So a little bit disappointed because it's supposed to produce more. I was hoping, do you see that? This one stopped and this one is now started. So it does cycle through if you only need to power certain devices. So what I'm going to do is let's just quickly time and see. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to quickly come back to you and I'm going to see if it's actually coming out any quicker. Right, so I'm just going to quickly time and see how fast it is on when I've paid for a deed. So I've got the obvious start flag here, so I'm just going to go through that when the petrified petroleum comes through and we can see how long it is. So that glitched a little bit when I went through, so it'll be a bit longer than the timer set now. So that was about the same amount. Now let me just try it on the one over here and see if I get the same result. So I'll wait for one to come through. Right. So we'll see how long this one takes. So, yeah, that might have been very slightly quicker. So, I think there probably is a very slight difference on how quick it comes through. Um, so, okay, so it is slightly better. Um, the main advantage of getting a deed is that it is a little quicker. Not sure I'd want to pay the half a million for it, for the speed of it, but you get another resource island to be able to use. Um, 
so that means you can power more stuff so if you've got any further comments or questions leave a comment in the uh, comments area and I will try and answer them. Take care, remember to subscribe.